And that's all I'm trying to tell somebody. If you get the word, I promise you God will give you a dream, a vision beyond where you are. And that will give you what it takes for your shout to reimagine new possibilities regardless of your present predicament and your disappointing past. Abram goes back and forth with God. God, so Eliezer is going to inherit everything I got. God says, no, he ain't inherited nothing. You are going to have a child from your loins. You and Sarah are going to have a baby. That's how this is going to work. You've got to reimagine new possibilities regardless of your present pain and predicament and your disappointing past and 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 i'm talking to someone because your thing is you've been disappointed so often the losing streak has been so heartbreaking that you basically reached some negative conclusions and the negative conclusions have soured your spirit and your sour spirit shows up in your conversation it shows up in your interactions with other people but here's what god says god says no reimagine Reimagine with me. See beyond what you see because what you see ain't going to have the last word on you. Reimagine some brand new possibilities. I got that last year from from what I saw at DFW Airport. It tripped me out. I'm in Terminal 8 and they have a sign in front of what was what? The Admiral's Club. And the sign said we're closed right now because we are reimagining what this club will look like in 2018. And y'all, I've seen it in 2018. It doesn't look like it did before because it took some time to shut down. I'll stop and shout you. God will shut stuff down in your life because God is constructing something because God wants you to reimagine some possibilities you never would have seen before and once you reimagine look what God does I'm done God says to Abram now come on outside and when you get outside look up at the stars that bedeck the heavens and bling bling of eternity if you can count the stars that's how many offspring you're going to have if you count the stars that's how you're offspring will look like and Abram can't count and the Bible says and Abram believed God you didn't get it you didn't get it let's get it did not say Abram believed in God James says the demons in hell believe in God and tremble devils believe in God Hmm. this text says Abram didn't just believe in God he believed God he believed God and and, and that's my question because a lot of us come to church on Sunday because we believe in God but we never get around to graduating to believe in God. How do I know? Check out the offering. Because during the offering, everybody believes in God. But then when it comes to bringing the whole tithe into God's storehouse and prove me now here with saith the Lord, I'll open up the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that you won't have enough room to receive. We don't believe God. Oh, I lost y'all. I lost y'all. I lost y'all. Listen, listen. Told y'all I preached in D.C. this week. When I landed in D.C. Uh, at, 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 at National Airport, here's what happened. It tripped me out. I'm trying to exit the door to go outside to my ride, and this 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 this, this precocious uh, 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 brother and sister uh, got into it as I'm going to watch this. The automatic doors automatic doors because the little girl or the or, or the brother says the sister he says uh, I'm about to show you I can do magic I'm gonna open this door and she said stop 
He said, no, watch it. I'm going to open this door. She said, no, all you got to do is keep on walking. And that's when the door will open. And y'all, she walked to a door that was shut. And by the time she got into the area where what the light hit, then the door opened. She gave me a definition of faith. Faith means even if the door is shut, you keep on walking until the door opens. That's my shout for somebody because God is saying just keep on walking until the door opens. Okay, okay, okay. That, that was good, but that didn't get y'all like I thought it would. So I got to go with this. Uh, 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 now, you know what's going to happen this weekend and next. Yeah. Repeatedly, I have a dream. I have a dream that one day, blah, 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 blah. I have a dream today because we get caught up in the poetry that makes us feel good. Mm -hmm. uh, and here's the thing. It's like we rush to the dream, but we never deal with the nightmare. Because before he articulates the dream, he narrates the American nightmare. But then here's what gets me. I, I hadn't even thought about this, Dan. You put this together. And that is, he says, I have a dream. And he always said, blah, 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 blah. But then all of a sudden, he begins to move toward that prophetic black preacher crescendo. It ain't I have a dream. It's with this faith. Have y'all heard that? It, it, it's a series. It, it, it's just like God just goes in with this faith. I will hew out of the mountain of despair with stone of hope. With this faith. We will go to jail together, struggle together, knowing that one day we'll be free one day. You missed your shout. With this faith, I'll hew out of the mountain of despair a stone of hope. With this faith, we will go to jail together. We will struggle together, knowing that one day we'll be free. Dr. King had the kind of faith that said faith may take you to jail. Faith may call you to struggle. Faith may take you out of your comfort zone. Faith may call you to get into some fights in deep dark places where people are hating on you and against you but he says with this faith I want to know are you stuck on the dream or can you say with this faith so how do you say with this faith I'll give it to you with this and I'm done mm -hmm. uh, uh, have any of y'all seen if Bill Strick could talk Woo. hold up your hand if you have okay if you've seen it Oh, God. Okay. So I can't even tell you about it. So here's what I'm going to do. Uh, so what I did, so I, I'm not going to do a spoiler alert, okay? Uh, please see it, okay? Uh, uh, what I do, whenever a movie is coming out based on a book, I just got a habit of reading the book first. Mm -hmm. And so, so what I did, I, I was assigned if Bill Street could talk when I was in Miss Davis's Afro-American literature class back in high school at Abraham Lincoln in San Francisco. And so, so I hadn't read it in years. So I basically had forgotten it. So I, 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 I pulled it down and I reread if Bill Street could talk. Won't he do it? Said he would.